Hi, my name is Hussein Amir Ahmadi. I'm Regulated Immigration Consultant and Chairman of uh, ICGCI in Vancouver, BC. Today I want to share one of my experiences in immigration, with uh, one of the immigration cases with you guys. Before we get started, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, turn on the notifications. Whenever we have a new video, you'll get notified. Okay, so let's get it started and see what the case is about. There are so many different aspects of this case. Uh, I've always uh, discussed this with my students uh, in the college about the um, immigration. So um, I'll try to start uh, from the beginning. This is back before there was LMIA, there was LMO, a labor market opinion. And uh, this company approached me that um, they want to do an LMO for one of their workers, so they want to bring him over and work here for two years. Um, this is a case of um, a family of six, PR already rejected, it makes it more complicated. Now you're applying for something temporary for two years, so officer may think that, okay, so uh, if your um, intent is to be here permanently while you are applying for something uh, temporary for two years. Uh, case was more complicated because it's a family of six. Uh, husband has got two kids from previous marriage. Uh, wife has got two kids from previous marriage again. And um, uh, all the kids, all four kids, are uh, not exactly special needs kids, but uh, they are not normal kids. When they went through the uh, uh, medical examination, uh, doctor made some mistake and they made a report that um, kids have got some issues and because of medical reasons they reject the case so the PR case was rejected just because of medical uh, reasons and now the company wanted to hire him back again on just a work permit so um, after reviewing all their documents I suggested that uh, we go back and uh, apply for GR, the uh, judicial review. Of course, uh, we cannot go to court. Uh, it's a lawyer's job, but at least we know what to do and how to gather the documents, where the mistakes was, we could make a report on it. So uh, we went through the whole process. I mean, uh, instead of a lawyer doing all these uh, documentations, the letters, um, we did it in our office. We send it back. Uh, we knew that um, probably they will not accept our GR, but still, we wanted to give it a shot. And they did accept that. It went through, we filed the uh, GR, and uh, it got to a point that uh, we got contacted by um, one of the uh, ministerial uh, officer. At that point, we start negotiating with them. I knew exactly uh, what medical disability they had or they were pointing at and what was the solution to it and um, why it was uh, inadmissible but um, we had a reason for it. I knew what was going on. I had studied the case for so long. So um, I give all the reasons, whatever I wanted to talk to the, uh, um, in the judicial review. Uh, I give all those to um, the lawyer and lawyer talk to the uh, judicial review instead of us and we got approval on it we got approval on a PR that they never thought they will get they came to me to apply for a work permit for LMO we got them PR it's a completely different process it happens you have to be open-minded look at the different views of the case so you can find the best solution for your client. I have more than 10 years experience and most of the time we get those uh, complicated cases that no one else wants to have. Uh, I'll be happy to, for the challenge. Me and my team, we got lots of experience with it. I'm very proud of my team. They do an excellent job. Um, they're very detail oriented. They know exactly what to look for and they study the law uh, sometimes there are a small uh, section of a law that no one has paid attention to. And by finding those, you can find a solution for your client. 
We have done it so many times. I mean, we have gone through um, a work permit to a PR application, and sometimes uh, when we got the clients to the citizen application, even though they don't really need us to apply for their citizenship, but still uh, they're so loyal that they will come back to us to do their uh, citizenship application. The reason I'm sharing this story with you, and I'm gonna do more of this, I'm gonna share more stories like this with you guys, is because you might have a similar case as well, and we might be able to help you the same way that we have helped so many other people with their complicated cases. I'm so proud that we have been able to help so many people with their complicated cases that no one else wanted to touch them. Um, we have had cases that um, sponsorship that was refused because of a small mistake, but uh, they really couldn't figure out where was the mistake. So having it support of your team uh, and they do their due diligence, they make sure that everything is done properly, we give all the proper document to the immigration and um, have a better chance of getting approval. We always say we are the professional you can trust.